Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. Most programming tutorials, regardless of which programming language or framework you are learning, begin with a very basic program where you can see what program in that particular language or framework must contain to work at all. Let's do the same here. What does a basic program in Panda3D look like? Here's our basic Panda3D app. We're going to write a basic Panda3D app that will display an empty window. It doesn't sound very fascinating, but if the window is displayed, we will at least know that Panda3D has been installed correctly and everything works. Anyway, our program is going to open the game window and that's it for now. Before we write the code, however, let's create a folder where we will save it. I'm going to create a new folder for each part in this series so that you can see how far you are in the project at each stage. But you can just create one folder and work on it throughout the whole series. I will name the folders Slaggeries 3D3 for part 3, Slaggeries 3D4 for part 4, and so on. So in Slaggeries 3D20, you will find the code as it was at the end of part 20, for example. Now, find the location for your project and create a new folder. I will name mine Slaggeries 3D2 because this is part 2 of the series. Then open the folder in your editor or IDE. Here's how to do it in Visual Studio Code. You go to File, Open Folder, you find your folder, Slaggeries 2D2 in my case, and you click Select Folder. And here you can see the name of the folder. Well, my text editor of choice is Visual Studio Code, and if I explain how to do something in the future, it should be understood how to do it in Visual Studio Code. If you are using a different editor, you surely know it quite well and will have no problem doing the same stuff in it. Now let's create a new file. When you open your folder, you need a file to write the code to. This is going to be a regular Python file, so with the extension .py. You can name your file whatever you like, I'll name mine test.py. This file is not going to be part of the project, I'll just use it to test stuff, hence the name. Now here's how you can create a file. When you hover your mouse over the name of your folder, over here, a menu will appear with a couple of icons. The first icon is the one you should click to create a new file. Just type in the name of the file, test dot pi and hit enter. As soon as you confirm by hitting enter, the new file is listed in the folder, so you can just collapse it and expand. Here's the file. And it opens automatically in a new tab. You can also get rid of this welcome tab. And this is how you're going to add files in the future. And now we're ready to write our code. Here it is. First of all, we need the showbase class from direct showbase showbase. So let's import it like here. Now here comes the application class. It inherits from showbase. The application class that inherits from showbase. And now this is where we actually create and run the app. So here we create the app and here we run it. So let's have a look at this one more time. First we have to import the showbase class. This is the class that loads other Panda3D modules that are necessary to execute the program. It also creates the game window and displays it. Then we define our game class which inherits from showbase. Finally, we create an instance of our application class and run it. The line of code where we call the run method on our app 
should be the last line in the file. This method starts the main loop of the game, which renders a frame, handles all the tasks that we define in our code, we're going to talk about tasks soon, and moves on to the next frame, and so it continues. So with our basic code in place, we're ready to run the app. We can use the run Python file in terminal button over here. So let's do that. This is what we get. A 3D window shows up with our application running in it and the terminal opens at the bottom. For now we can only see gray game window, but that's what we expected at this stage. This game is not playable now, but at least we know it works. Ok, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.